Well, with an eye on the future and moving forward, Somali lawmakers convincingly elected Hassan Sheikh Mohamud on Monday as the East African nation's new president. A relative newcomer to politics, President Mohamud defeated incumbent leader Sheikh Sharif Ahmed in a third round, a round runoff vote, gathering 190 votes in the secret balloting to 79 votes for former President Ahmed. The election was a major step in a UN-backed plan to create a more effective government in Somalia after two decades of war and chaos. It followed the adoption of a new constitution and the creation of a new parliament last month. Mr. Mahmoud was quickly sworn in following the vote. As he assumes the nation's top post, uh, President Mahmoud will immediately face uh, some tough hurdles, rough and tumble, clan politics, rampant corruption, and high seas piracy issues and a difficult Islamist insurgency, but he says he is ready to be president. Thanks to all the lawmakers who voted for me and those who did not vote for me. You are both the same to me. You did a great job for the people of Somalia and I promise to lead the country and the people who want me to lead the country. Expectations for Mr. Mahmoud are high as the administration of former President Ahmed, whose leadership had been mired in accusations of corruption, leaves office. Some residents of Mogadishu are already expressing their support for the new president. We welcome our new president with our open heart. He's a well-educated man and I hope that he will bring change to Somalia very soon. What we expect from the new president is for him to create new vision towards peace and prosperity of this country. And we also hope that he will create new opportunities for young people. While well, Somalia has lacked an effective central government since the outbreak of civil war in 1991, but Mogadishu, which until last year witnessed street battles between al-Shabaab militants and African soldiers, is now a vibrant city where reconstructed buildings are slowly replacing bullet-riddled structures. Now, for more insight on Somalia's new president and the future of the country, we are joined by Haroon Maruf, senior editor of VOA Somali Service. Hello, Haroon. Welcome back. Thank you. And I guess congratulations are due for the people of Somalia. It seems as though this election by parliament of the new president, Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, caught everybody by surprise. How come? Absolutely. It was completely unexpected but not surprising in Somali politics. Mm -hmm. Things change very quickly. The president won the first round by 64 votes. In the second, in, in the final third round, he got another 15 votes, so with, with a total of 79. But this newcomer completely came out of nowhere and won a landslide victory, 190 votes. It was completely very unexpected, but given the accusations against the former government in terms of the alleged corruption, corruption and also the president in the, the day before the election, the mm -hmm. former president has allied himself with the former speaker of the parliament, who many accuse of undermining and being responsible for the long-standing conflict between the government and the parliament that shared out with the Somali politics over the years. He also, the former president, campaigned for the inclusion of the former warlords into the parliament. Mm -hmm. In the end, they were included in the parliament and sworn in. But most of the Somalis didn't like that move that the president has taken. He was doing it for political reasons, but it backfired. But it seemed as though right up until the end, the parliament was really, uh, many believed anyway, that the parliament would still elect uh, President Sh Sheikh Sharif Ahmed despite the um, concerns around him. But moving on to the new president now, what do you think urged or pulled the parliament together to vote for him? What, was his, what were his credentials that made him feel that he would be acceptable to the Somali people? I think he had, he had several qualities. One, he never left Somalia, according mm -hmm. to his uh, followers. He never mm -hmm. left Somalia. He was part of the establishment that uh, established education, education system. Because by Mogadishu. profession, he's an educator. He's an educator. He's right. a teacher. He's a civil society activist. activist. He was involved in removing the roadblocks in the city, opening the city mm -hmm. for the civilians so that they can move on from one side to the other. And uh, that has counted a lot when it came to his CV and he, when he was presenting his speech the other day. He told everybody that 
I was not involved in the fighting at all. I wanted to stabilize the country. I'm completely a new, newcomer, and I wanted to take the country into a new direction. It, that may have appealed to some of his mm -hmm. people who voted for him, but what also appealed to the others could be because they were fed up with the establishment. Mm -hmm. The speak of the Balan has been replaced. The outgoing prime minister might not come back as prime minister, and perhaps this was the last move to oust the third major leader that was involved in previous politics, Sheikh Sharif. Now, this really uplifts, though, the image of the parliament, doesn't it, in a way? Because many were suspicious of the parliamentarians saying that they had been bribed or bought or that they, they had allegiance to the former administration. It partially exonerates the parliament that they have chosen somebody who was not among them who was completely the newcomer from the outside. So th th this really vindicates mm. somehow the parliament. But also it, put, it gives them pressure to work with him mm -hmm. uh, cooperatively and constructively, not to undermine him immediately. Because as you know, the, 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 the government, can, the, the parliament can still bring down the government mm -hmm. in a two-third mm -hmm. vote. So the important thing is that they listen to his message and take it and work with him and hold the government accountable. Now, the issues are still withstanding. The situation in Somalia is obviously very grave. Issues of corruption, piracy, al-Shabaab. What do you see happening along those fronts with the new president? Can he handle them? The, the important thing for Somalia is that it's, it's very difficult to foresee that these challenges will end in overnight. Mm -hmm. It needs a long plan. But he also needs the support and, and the he needs an experienced team around him. Mm -hmm. He's he new to the politics, so he needs some people who were part of the political process. He needs to further strengthen the military. It seems the Somali military now is gaining some backbone. So he needs to further that. He still needs the support of the international community. And after all, he needs a message, clear message to connect with the Somali people, mm -hmm. because most of the Somali people now do not live under the areas controlled by the government. It's controlled by either al-Shabaab or different regional administrations. Mm -hmm. So he needs to reach out those, and with that, he can reach that out with his message. Thank you so much, Harun. Well, we'll be watching, and uh, all the best to Somalia and its new leader. Harun Marouf is a senior editor of VOA Somali Service, and he joins us here today on In Focus.